Gonna turn on some chorus and delay. So yeah, it does all that. Turn the effects back off. And now I just want to demonstrate the fact that yes, this here, let's call it the green channel, can also get pretty disgusting sounding in a good way. drive and aspects real quick. I have a TS-808 here with the drive very low and the level very high.
All right, sounds great. We'll turn it back off and go over to the uh, lead channel. <laughs> to me even without a drive on it. We'll go over to the uh, passive voicing on these pickups. Sounds great. So, all right, let's go over and check out what the uh, stuff on the back does. All right, so here we are on the back of the amp. So we're on the red channel with all the EQ and everything at noon, except for the presence. So presence is at about one o'clock, just for a little bit of added brightness. So the mods on this amp, the external mods, so the ones you can actually touch, are this is now a, uh, a he calls it the grit switch. It's a, a Jose mod. This here is a voltage switch, and this here is a voicing knob. So we're going to touch on these in order, starting with the grit switch. So in the up position, the amp will be a tad quieter. There's also 
a little bit tighter. Whereas when you drop it down, you get more volume and a little bit more bass response. definitely nice for different things next up right below that we have this voltage switch full left is the lowest amount of voltage you can get out of it and full to the right is max voltage so with it to the left you'll notice a drop in volume and it'll be a little bit more saturated and more spongy whereas full to the right you have more volume coming out of it and it's, again will be a little bit more tight so let's try that So full to the left, this should be the quietest and the spongiest, maybe good for lead playing and stuff. subtle but I can definitely hear and feel those changes but yeah finally we have what I think is pretty much the coolest part this here voicing knob so this is all the way to the right in its most modern voicing let's push it over to the left for a more vintage voicing <laughs> right I'm hearing a little bit more uh, mid focus and a little bit more presence uh, but yeah it's just a super cool little extra control to play with uh, I wish that I had an original one of these amps to play with but I will say for sure that they're 
I've listened to clips of these stock amps and there hasn't been anything that made me even interested in buying one but uh, I really enjoy this little guy and I'm now definitely thinking of trying to find a mini amp for James to mod for me but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe share all that sort of stuff I appreciate it take care